Hey guys. Hey guys and welcome. So today I'm going to try my first art subscription box Gainer because I worked with Upgrade on their very first box. Um, so they sent me the materials that would be included in the first box. I made an illustration out of it and they included it as a print in the first box. But technically this is my first art subscription box because this one is finished and I'm getting the full experience now. And I think the whole appeal of these boxes is to get one, not knowing what is inside, getting to know new materials, maybe a new artist, and try to make something good out of the stuff that is in there. So I was really excited to make this video. Um, I haven't done anything like this before, so it's quite unfortunate that I got my period today. I hate the world, I hate myself, my hair sucks, let's do this. Okay, so here we are and you have no idea how long it took me to get to this point. I can function today, I can speak today, I have very little hope for this video and the outcome of my drawing. <laughs> okay. So if you haven't heard of Upgrade yet, um, they are very new. They started last summer through the help of crowdfunding and they are based in Germany. And I was pretty excited when they reached out to me again and asked me if I would now like to try one of their boxes, especially because they already told me which artist is featured in this box. It is Zakazik and um, I know her from Instagram and she's also a German artist and yeah, I really adore her style. Um, she makes very bold illustrations and yeah, after a ridiculously long amount of time of filming, I am now very happy that I can finally open this box. <sighs> Guys, I'm telling you, I just... It's not my day today. It's really not my day today. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Even opening up a envelope is a challenge for me today. Okay. Is this a nib? Oh, adorable. Postcard, some stickers. So this is um, what they do with the featured artist. They um, make kind of a collaboration for each box with their logo and the style of the artist. This is their logo and this is their logo but in the style of, uh, in this case, Sarkasik. Es tut mir echt leid, wenn das nicht die Art ist, wie man den Namen ausspricht. Oh, we have another one. Cute. Ah, okay. So I don't want to look at this because this is, I think, the list where all of the supplies are listed. I just want to unpack them and... Oh! She should be in, in magazines and in books. This is so lovely. Oh, right. And on the back, there are some... Uh, there's some information about the artist. You can hit pause and read this if you'd like. Um, yeah, I'm gonna read this later. So we get paper and paper and paper and loop pro writing tools. Okay, is this like acrylic paint markers? I'm gonna try to make this look not as messy. We get a a brush, pencil, HB two and a half, which I haven't seen yet. HB two and a half. We get another pencil, Mars Lumograph in black 8B. Did some soft shh. Did some soft stuff. Okay, so these are water-based markers. Writes on any surface, indoor and outdoor use. Black, blue, 
kind of greeny, turquoisey, peachy beige, orange and white. I don't think I have seen this brand. And yeah, so there are 10 fine liners. Try to put everything in frame. If you're curious about any of these art materials, then hopefully you can pause and read about it. And so she used all of these tools to make this illustration. And I really like the texture that it has to it. I mean, not the print, but you can definitely see there's a lot of texture on her illustration. I really like that. If you've seen my sketchbook tour, then you know that um, I started using acrylic paint markers. Um, I'm still not very confident with how to use them. Um, but I'm, I'm really curious to try these out because I really like the colors they included in this box. I'm gonna take a tiny break right now and drink a cup of coffee today. It's just not my day. I'm feeling blah. I am back and it's a good thing that I took this break <laughs> because I realized that I have completely forgotten to eat something and yeah, it's no wonder I was feeling so off and freezing my butt off. Um, so while I was eating my delicious breakfast slash lunch, I collected my thoughts a bit. Um, I forgot to mention a couple of things. You can watch a video that is made by the artist and this video shows you how they use the supplies to create the illustration. Which is pretty handy, I think. Um, if you get some supplies that you never worked with before, it's kind of nice to see how other people use them and you can directly now see the finished result of it. Um, so I watched that video and now I also know that it is not pronounced Sarkazik but Sarkazik. So I'm sorry. And what I also forgot to mention is that every box has a theme. So the theme for this box is I think new. Let's start and swatch these and see what we are working with. HB two and a half pencil. I don't really use pencils that much. I use mechanical pencils because um, I really like the thin lead. And I never really trust these. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Most of the time these are just so hard that they smudge the lines more than anything. So this is the HB and this is the 8B. So it's super soft, it's super black and you can probably yeah, smudge it really, really easy. So something to be careful with. But I think I'm gonna use this one more than this one because I have HB LEDs for my mechanical pencils and sometimes I just can't get the lines dark enough. So. I often used my black card pencil for that and now it's just a tiny little feather so now I can replace it with this one here. But can I? Yeah, I can't erase this one maybe with a normal. So this one stains the paper a lot. So it's probably more of something for stuff you're really sure about and um, finalizing some details maybe, definitely not for sketching. Okay, my camera just keeps focusing on random shit. I hope it's gonna work out better now. I'm really sorry if this video is gonna be a complete mess. Okay, so 
these are the fine liners and the tip is really thin it's um, 0.4 millimeters so um, I like the thin lines and the colors are vibrant the only one that felt a bit off was the orange you can see here I had to try it a couple of times and I mean it works but it's it feels different than the other so this one is probably just a bit um, off maybe the tip is already a bit dried let's see what these guys can do shake 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 I was actually quite surprised because the as you can see these nibs they aren't super thin but I feel like you can still make fairly thin lines with them which is really nice and this black one has a smaller nib is this even called nib is this called a felt tip I don't know so this is the only one that has a finer nib I think it's pretty handy especially because it's the black so you can um, make some outlines when you're done with the colors and the flow of the paint is really nice and it covers fairly good also dries pretty fast all oh, right I should maybe try this wasn't so such a great idea because these fine liners aren't <coughs> waterproof <clears throat> hey guys I am back as you can see um, something has changed it is actually the next day and um, I couldn't finish the video yesterday I was feeling really horrible <laughs> And it took me three hours to just say hi to you and unpack the box and do some swatches and I thought it would be a much better idea to just leave it and come back to it the next day when I'm feeling a bit more collected. So I did some um, morning doodles with my coffee something I really enjoy doing um, just to warm my hand up and not really think about what I'm drawing so I'm using a bunch of uh, Pinterest references and yeah my hand is warm up now I still need to eat breakfast but then we can properly try out this box I enjoyed swatching these paint markers and I can already tell that I'm gonna be using these a lot I especially like this one this one I'm enjoying um, colors like these maybe it's because of my um, pen 
not the orange ink pen that I have now. I'm really leaning more towards orangey and then earthy colors. So yeah, I'm really excited to create something with this. And I'm gonna first eat. Oh, this guy is so cute. Sorry if this video is gonna be a uh, <laughs> kind of Frankenstein video. Um, I'm gonna try to edit it in a way so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, I was a bit all over the place and a bit uh, confused. <laughs> Some of you said that you would like to see a bit more um, real-time uh, footage of me drawing and sketching because with these sped up videos it's pretty difficult to see um, where I had problems with or how I'm really doing things. So um, I'm not gonna draw on these yet um, because one is my um, swatch sheet so this one's already taken and I want to I don't want to erase a whole lot on these. I don't think it's gonna affect these paint markers a lot even if I would erase a lot on the paper but um, yeah it's probably gonna take me a while to figure out what I want to do and I don't want to waste the paper that uh, was inside the box so I'm just gonna use some printer paper okay so I think I'm gonna have to go a bit bigger because I'm not that confident in my ability to <clears throat> I'm sorry my ability to um, be very detailed and precise with these paint markers even though um, did notice yesterday that you can paint pretty thin lines with them. Sorry if I'm gonna be um, not that chatty while I draw. It's a bit difficult to talk while drawing and trying to um, come up with an idea. Maybe braids. So while I'm sketching now, I'm already thinking about the colors and I think I'm, I'm not gonna, I might leave the face just as a pencil drawing and um, then just color other parts of it. Like for example, if I would give her braids, then this means that this whole part would be one color and I just think it's a, I don't know, it's would just look nice with some um, color having this shape. I don't know if what um, I'm saying makes sense, but this is just how I think while I draw. And then maybe if I'm gonna keep the background and her face really simple then I could give her a um, really colorful sweater with some strange pattern on it you know something like 
different colors, different blocks of color and then something going on on top of that color with a different color that might look interesting can never get the shape of the head right it's always either too big or too small confused by all of these messy lines it's kind of like um, making a new layer if I were to do this um, digitally and set the sketch layer um, to a uh, lower opacity so I can draw on top needs to be a bit higher because her head looks like it's tilted a bit but then this eye doesn't make sense either then it's need to be more like this Sorry if this video is gonna be super long. Probably not gonna include the whole drawing process in real time, but at least a little bit. for the kind of style I'm going for. Humans do tend to have normal sized necks and I always draw them a bit smaller. It's probably um, I think the way I draw is uh, it has still a lot of manga and anime influences because that's how I started out drawing watching Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball and everything that came after okay so this would be my um, final sketch now I'm thinking about whether I should draw something for the background or just make something with the colors. Hmm. I wanna think about this a moment.
Okay, so I am done with this one and I have to say I think it's pretty cute. I really like the all the texture that is going on. Um, so these fine liners, when you use them on top of the um, acrylic paint markers, they, they just kind of sit on top. You can see it with these um, seeds, it kind of... Um, loses its its color a bit and need to be really careful especially with this one i just kept smudging it working with these was a bit tricky even though i really like this effect when you do um go over the acrylic paint the way it looks you know this smudgy look i i really liked it now i'm not the biggest fan of um fine liners so you know i i made it work for me but these are just not something that I'm gonna reach for very often. It is kind of interesting that you can paint with them a little, you know, because they aren't uh, waterproof. So these I feel like have pros and cons, definitely. It was nice to use something that I would normally not use and uh, see what I can do with it. But I think I, I prefer these. I had a lot of fun with them and uh, yeah. I, I really like how this turned out and uh, I just wish filming this video would have been a bit easier. <laughs> Note to self, don't film when you feel like shit. And if you're interested in trying an upgrade box for yourself, I will put a link to their website down in the description. Um, they didn't pay me anything to show their box and use their stuff. So I'm also not a affiliate, so whether you decide to um, look into them or not, I don't really benefit from it, so um, you do you. And um, do try to look up some videos where there's a proper review and know whether reviewing the stuff in the box if it is a good value for you. I will also include a um, link to Zakajik's uh, Instagram if you're interested in Wait, I'm gonna... If you're interested in following her art, and I think this is kind of cute, you know, different styles, same same colors. I think these two look really adorable together. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna include her link in the description. So please do check her out and show her some love because she does amazing stuff. And uh, yeah. This is pretty much it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and I see you in the next one. Bye! Hey guys! And what... <laughs> hey guys! And what... Oh no... Children screaming outside. Mm. Oh, leg mich am Arsch. <lacht>